Alright, what is up Amelex? It's me, Amma Jane on Amma Jane TV. So, in a continuation of marathons in K-pop, I come across, in, uh, this must be a new group, I've never seen them, I've never heard of them, it's called Wanas. I hope I'm pronouncing this group as it sounds, as it's been read. I just pronounce as uh, it's as it, the way it's written so I can't really I don't know anything about this group I'm going in blind in this group um, do I have high expectations to be honest no because you know <laughs> I don't know so the song is called Lit I don't know what to expect that's it let's just so yeah So I see some, I think there must be a bit traditional Korean, are they, I don't know what they are, but they look really pretty, like one is a dragon and the other is a bird, so, and the bird looks very colourful. The dragon obviously looks green, so yeah. So the song's called Lit by One Us. So, Again, I don't have any any expectation. I can imagine this music video is going to be more the Korean tradition. I think I could be wrong. Or there could be a mishmash. So let's pray this is going to be good because I don't know. So let's go. Three, two, one. Go, go. One us. Oh, it does look All right. Oh. It is a mishmash of modern and traditional Korean. Why does this room remind me of Vix's voodoo doll? It actually reminds me of the way it's set it up. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the music. It is a bit of traditional martial arts slash traditional Korean with with some modernness in it. They're very pretty, I'm not gonna lie, they're very good looking. It's interesting. So would this be like a top group for the, the third generation apart from, you know, NCT? They could be. They could be those groups. I love his hair colour. What do you think? Should I have that kind of bluish hair colour in my head? Probably I'm not look. His red hair. Oh my god. I had that like last year similar, but my one was stronger. His hair is so pretty. He is so pretty. Ah! He looked a bit like, like Taemin for a second, for a split second. I don't know names, but they're very good looking. Again, they're very handsome. This guy looks Loki looks a little bit like Tammy, just a tad bit. I think it's the sil I think it's the head it's the hair colour that makes him look a little bit like, like Tame because you know Tame had that hair colour at one point. And that like hair style, just a bit. I like this! This this really reminds me of the mishmash back in the day with Top Dog, if you remember. Arario, that was def that was a banger. That song was a banger. And it was like mishmash modern music with traditional Korean and it's Yeah, this is this is definitely gonna be my playlist. I think this is gonna be my new group for the third generation. So yeah. So you can tell they got something to offer. <laughs> Like, apart from being um, a 
different generation. Jesus Christ. This guy with the silver head is... It's like he's... You! Oh my goodness. The one with the blue hair and the one with the silver hair, they're, they're, they're doing the most. And don't get me wrong, the one with the red hair looks really pretty. I love his hair colour. And the blondie too, and the one with the dark hair. Oh, the silver with dark hair, so... They're really cute as well. He's really cute. Love his red hair, it's like so pretty on him. They're very good looking. But there's two of them that I don't know names, or I can say one blue hair and who looks a bit like Taemin, and the other one silver hair doing the most. Nobody told you, but I like it! Ah! It, like I said, it gave me Top Dog, like back in 2000, I think it was 2013 or 2014 when they released Arario and it was such a banger. It was the fact that it had like mixture of modern hip hop with traditional K-pop, uh, traditional Korean music and tradition, like the traditional, you know, with the fans, with their clothes. It's not, it's not even, not, I can't compare it with Vix's Shangri-La because Vix Shangri-La was 100% traditional, traditional than hip-hop kind of side to it whereas this one gave me a little bit of a top dog I like the colours, I like their outfits, I love the usage of their fans and the fact that it's mixed up, mixed up with, with hip-hop and, and the traditional Korean it's nice to see that it's nice to re see that and revisit and just go back in time with, you know, with music, that is, with Top Dog. But that's all. I give us a 10 out of 10. I actually enjoyed that. I really like them. Actually, they could be a group that might become huge. Because I know in K pop, it's not easy for a group to become humongous, like famous. So with that being said, I love you all, and you're on everyone, and sarang heyo.